we're out to uh, St. John's River today. Um, it's a beautiful morning out here. It's probably closer to nine o'clock this morning. But uh, the uh, I'm going to show you this river. It's uh, this river is running north. It's uh, one of the few rivers in the world that, that runs north. The only other one is, is the Niles River. And uh, once in a while, this will go south. Depends on the tides and water and that. But 90% of the time, this river runs north. Um, it comes out of uh, Titusville uh, and goes all the way up to Jacksonville. And uh, I don't know how many miles it is. I'd have to look up that info on it. But uh, it's a very active river. A lot of you see a lot of uh, fishermen out here. We've seen uh, some people catching some fish out here already this morning. But uh, just a beautiful, beautiful spot out here. There's a uh, riverboat up here. I'm not sure if they use that riverboat uh, or not to uh, take excursions. There's a restaurant right there. But I thought at one point they were going to take river cruises out there. So uh, this is the St. John's River there. We're out here spending our beautiful February morning out here. Uh, temperature's probably somewhere around 75 degrees. Just another gorgeous day in Florida. I'm going to show you across the uh, river here on this side. I've seen gator over here. They're really sometimes hard to spot. Uh, they look like a uh, tree branch in the water. Uh, I don't really see any over here this morning, but uh, in the past I have seen alligator come across there. In the summertime, you get out in the boat here, the uh, gator will come right up beside the boat. And uh, they don't seem to bother you any. Not saying that they couldn't, but they don't usually seem like they bother you any. I don't spot any. I was hoping to maybe see a gator and show you up along the shoreline this morning. That uh, It's probably, uh, I'm not sure where they hang out when they're not cruising around the river. Looks like someone might have a fish on. There we go. Not sure what kind that was, but he got one. Looked like a nice fish. Yeah, over on the other side there, you can see where they're launching boats. Yeah, a boat going down in the water now. It's a pretty steep ramp. Um, you have to be careful. Make sure you got enough weight in your vehicle to get up out of there. I used to have a boat and uh, I had a van, a minivan, and uh, it was difficult pulling the boat up out. Uh, you would sometimes spin coming up out of there, so, but uh, this is White Hair Bridge, and it's a nice little park. They have a boat ramp here and places to fish, and uh, right on the St. John's River, right close to State Route 44, just outside of Deland, Florida, and uh, it's a great place to come if you want to go do some fishing when you're in this area. Um, it's a great place to uh, launch your boat, or if you just want to come and fish along the shore. There's actually a campground here. That's fairly new. Um, in the last couple of years they put this campground in, so you can actually go camping here. It looks pretty full. And uh, in wintertime campgrounds down down for the Duke get really full there, but uh, this, uh, you can pretty much do it all right here. You could fish, camp, go boating. There's a restaurant here. Um, it's a pretty cool little place there. It's, again, this is right uh, uh, off State Route 44, just uh, west of Deland, uh, probably less than 10 miles out of Deland. Squirrels like to play out here this morning. They get fairly tame because people feed them. They uh, scamper across there looking for food. Part of the river. Lady out here is fishing. I don't even catch much up in there now. I suppose you would. It's a little closer look at the uh, boat ramps. And uh, they're owned by the county. Uh, as you see, they're pretty steep ramps. Some lily pads out there growing by the edge. 
but they're nice cement pads too. They're they are a nice wrap. They're just a, just a steep ramp. And you can see some boat docks over on the other side. And again with the campgrounds over there. It's a beautiful area. This is the uh, they have a nice little picnic shelter over here where you can come out here and have a picnic. You can uh, fish here right off the river. Of course you need your fishing license there. I uh, always thought that uh, fishing should be free. If you don't have no food, you can at least maybe catch a fish, but it's not. I don't know, there might be some programs where it's free. Yeah, but uh, just a nice little shady area. It's a great place to come out and hang out for a while. You can see they're all lined up fishing here. Especially this time of year, you get uh, a whole gang of fishermen out here. And a lot of, uh, they get some of the bass boats in the uh, river out there. A lot of tributaries and stuff that you can uh, fish among. And it's nice sometimes just to, uh, to cruise out there in the river too. I used to do that a lot. I'd take my boat here and launch it and go up to uh, Blackwater Inn up in Astor, have lunch or supper and take the boat back down. So if you're ever visiting the, the land area in uh, Florida and uh, you're a sportsman, want to fish or enjoy the uh, uh, outdoors, this is a great place to stop and visit. All right, we're over here at Pontoon Island now. Uh, this is another park outside of Delan. And you'll see a lot of uh, pontoon boats going up and down the river there. And uh, they actually, the island is, takes a ferry ride to go across to the island. And if you see the little sign here, it tells you just to remain there and uh, and you can go over there. They'll take you back and forth across the island all day long. We've got some uh, rowers. They're rowing a rowboat out there, getting their exercise. They move along pretty fast. And uh, actually here is the, uh, this is the uh, ferry that takes you back and forth coming across right now to pick up people. All right, here's the uh, ferry boat, Hontoon Island State Park. He's coming in here to uh, pick up a load of people to uh, take across to the uh, island. It's a pretty good sized island when you get over there. You uh, look this up on the map, uh, you can see it. it's quite an area. There's a big hiking trail. Probably getting a little noise in the background. They're building something over here. It looks like a barge. I'm not sure what they're doing there, but it looks like a big barge. But anyways, this is the uh, ferry boat that takes you back across to the uh, Pontoon Island there. It runs all day long till dark. You can see a lot of the homes uh, down along here. They have their own docks, have their boats parked right out there. And, uh, you know, they can uh, go right from their house right out to the boat and go fishing, cruising, whatever they want to do. It's really a pretty cool area. And across there you see this is, uh, this is actually Pontoon Island over here. There's actually a, um, boat ramps over there where you can park your boat and come in. Right here, there, they, uh, there's a little store over there. And, uh, but this is the island right there. Really nice little place. All these signs will go across there and they like walking a little more. A little bass boat heading up the river. They go out and catch, catch today's lunch. A lot of fish out here in this river. You get these uh, lilies, pond lilies there uh, growing up. They'll get some really beautiful flowers. Looks like uh, one right here was getting ready to bloom. See if I can uh, get a zoom in on it. But, uh, it's like that flower is going to be blooming out maybe today. Sometimes they go under at night and come back in the middle of the day. Anyway, you'll see lily plaids all up and down the river. 
you know, the ferry boats got a load. They're getting ready to uh, take the people across there and spend their day. Uh, these people almost look like they're probably hikers. A lot of people come over here and hike, uh, spend their day out here uh, hiking around all the trails. There's just, I don't know how many miles of trails there is, but I know there's a ton of trails over there. It's not far across there, but you still need a way to get across. I'm almost surprised they never built a little bridge across there, but it would take some expense and maybe take away from the aviance of it too. You know, but uh, let's uh, show you the, uh, the store over here. You can go here and camp. Um, pretty much primitive camping. Usually, well, it'd be hard to do anything but tent camp because I don't know how you get your RV across there. You could try. I don't know if you'd go fast enough if you could jump it or not, but Anyways, it's tent camping over there, and uh, you can go there and spend uh, spend your uh, few days there just camping and hiking. I'm not sure what this barge is doing here. They've, uh, they've got a big crane here, and so I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, it's like they're doing something. Over on that side is Lake Breesford. If you go down this way, it goes down the St. John's River. And uh, I was telling you about the lily pads, if you look across here, you'll see tons and tons of lily pads over there. There are really a lot of them down the river. Now there's Sue, she's relaxing at the bench. Sorry, sitting in the shade. Sitting in the shade, enjoying it. It's pretty breezy today. It, uh, here's some things at the uh, river. The uh, last ferry over to the islands at 5 p.m. Uh, last I ferry off the river is 5.30 p.m said the fire danger today is low. It's been pretty wet this year, so uh, we haven't uh, haven't had uh, a lot of issues with fires this time of year. Some years it gets pretty uh, pretty dry here this time of year, and we'll have wildfires. Yeah, I don't know if you can uh, read the sign or not, but it tells about the park. It's a 1,650-acre park tucked away on the St. Don River. The park is only accessible by a free shuttle or private boat. This quiet retreat space place to uh, stay overnight or in a rusty cabin or in a tent. Explore the uh, park by renting a canoe, kayak, or bicycle. The three mile hiking trail guides visitors to a natural American uh, shell midden. Uh, they've got two new storage sheds they set over there. They've got some new picnic tables, a ramp. Um, so before they, and they talk about, hey, there is a display over there, snakes and critters and stuff there that you can take this little guided display. I've done that in the past there. So, but uh, anyway, this is a little bit more about Han Toon Island State Park. Now this is our little uh, visit to Han Toon Island. Um, we were also down at the uh, uh, St. John River at White Hair Bridge in uh, Show you a little bit around there. Just a little bit of around the, the Deland, Florida area. It's a great place to go. This time of year is wonderful in the spring. The, uh, so I hope you enjoyed our video today. Uh, if you did, uh, give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed to our page, hit the uh, subscribe button. Um, hit the little thing, make it look like a bell, and I'll notify you every time I uh, put up a new video. And so thanks for watching. We'll see you the next time. Mm -hmm.